Hi everyone. So I'm going to do another dip, the spiral dip like I did in my last video. Thank you to Fiona's Art for showing that in her videos. I was really inspired by hers. Uh, mine didn't turn out exactly like hers did, but I still really like them. These are, that was the second one that I had dipped. This was the first one. Everyone seems to really like these, so I'm going to do another one, but this time I'm going to do a reverse dip. Somebody in the last video asked <clears throat> what would happen if I put the paint on the canvas and then dipped it instead of dipping on my surface. So I've got um, two different canvases. I have an 8 inch and a 6 inch. Let's get those in frame. So this one I had actually painted on before and didn't like it, so my husband primed it for me. So this is also showing you that you can reuse canvases that you don't like. But we're going to start off with the 6 inch. I have my white that I'm going to use as my background color. And then I had a ton of paint left over from my previous one. So I think with the first dip, I'm just going to use three colors and then the second one I'm going to add the burgundy, but I want to try and see what it looks like without it. Um, this was just a mix of red and black paint, and so I mixed up that color myself. I have the yellow, the orange, and the magenta. And then I also have my pipettes. Um, this is what I use to drop the paint. Uh, I have these linked in the video description if you want to get some of your own. They're really cheap. I just get them off of Amazon. So get that in frame a little bit better. And then I'm debating on if I want to use saran wrap or actually I think I'm going to just go with my paper towel because I know that works out well. And then to help create some cells since I don't add any silicone to the paint, um, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol on the paper towel. Um, so in my paint there's Floetrol and water and that's it. I don't have any silicone in the mix and even with that I still got some cells in the last one and some lacing. So I'm hoping that we can do that again. So let me just get my pipettes in my paint. I'm going to just move these over. <clears throat> And get some white down. <clears throat> okay, so with this one. I'm not going to use the burgundy in this one, but I will in the second one. I just want to use the magenta, the orange, and the yellow. And I'm just going to move it out. I'm going to go close to the edge. I kind of want it to take up a good amount of the canvas. take my paper towel and add my rubbing alcohol to it. So that I have a nice damp paper towel. I'm going to move my paint out of the way so I hopefully don't knock it over. And 
and then we will do our reverse dip. So I'm going to try and get this on evenly. There we go. I can feel there's a lot of paint on the canvas, but we'll squish some of this out. Let's see what kind of design this one makes. I think those colors are really pretty. I think that'll look fine. Okay, so I'm just going to take each of my, ooh, that's bright. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Okay, so that turned out a little bit more, oh, let's torch it just a little bit, be careful. I was using rubbing alcohol, but I do wanna see. Okay, so that turned out with a different design than what we had in the last video, but I still like it, that's really pretty. I think the colors are really pretty. <clears throat> But I think with this next one, I'm going to do the way that I did it in the last video. So I'm going to move this canvas out of the way and then I'm going to put my paint down on the table. And I'm going to use the burgundy in that one also. So I've got my 8x8 canvas. I'm just going to mark a little bit so I know where to pour the paint out to. I'm not worried about the paint that's left over. There's not a whole lot there. So I'll just pour the white down. And then, just like I did on the other one, I'm going to use my palette knife and just spread it out. Some of that color got in there, but we'll just cover that. Okay, so this one, I'm probably not going to use as much burgundy, because so I know there was quite a bit in that, but we'll just go around, to fill in those empty spots, and this is going to take a little bit of time to do. canvas and dip it right in the middle. I'm going to take a, I've got a stir stick and just get that air out from underneath there if there is any. I don't think there is. It doesn't feel like it. But I want to make sure that the canvas is covered. So now I will just lift up. Oh wow, that did not turn out at all like I wanted it to. Well that's unfortunate, but it's still really pretty. It did not keep the circular pattern, but the colors are still nice. I want white there, I don't want the color. So we will keep it as is. I think it actually worked out better on the smaller canvas, but that's still really pretty. I'm getting a lot of cells in it, 
So we will just let this one dry. And thank you guys for watching. Okay, so it's a day later. Um, this part is actually on my table. I'm going to try and save this. I got some really pretty sections in there and some, oh, a few cells, even though I didn't use any silicone. I think some of the paint just reacted with the Floetrol and I got some cells. So after I stopped filming, I also did a set of dipped coasters and these turned out pretty cool. So I'll have a picture of those. I'll dry at the end because they turned out nice. The colors look really pretty and I think with a uh, resin finish, those will those will really pop. Um, but this is my six inch. That one dried really nicely. And then this is my eight inch. Again, it didn't really do a design that I like too much, but it still looks kind of nice. I got a lot of cells in there and I'll take some close up pictures of that but they are all dry. The dips tend to dry really quickly because there's not as much paint on your surface. But I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I will post some pictures.